dude, I have been trying to be cool in my own room for so long, all right? Like, so long, and I finally cracked the code. It's no pants. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this without pants on. And you know what? You get to know that, and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's fine, because pants are optional in the world of comfort. And right now, I am so comfortable. Mmm, so comfortable. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to the world of horror, instead of the world of pants. The world of pants. <clears throat> it's like the worst villain ever, the Pantser. Da -da 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 -da. Crawling up behind you, pants and you. He's actually going to jail for uh, harassment. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Anyway, enough about the worst villain I've created oh. in a while. Welcome back to the world of horror. <laughs> yeah, what she said. All right, we are going to play Kyrie. Oh god, I almost threw up. Kyrie. Could the ghost following her be in any way connected with all the weird events happening in this town? Starts with one random spell. Lower strength, up knowledge. Knowledge! We're gonna choose a god of destruction trying to destroy our world. Not like a god of destruction like in Dragon Ball, but like, you know, a god who is uh, going to destroy you. We're gonna do a thought too this time. Both your damage and your enemies is increased because that's probably going to be safe for me. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria. A perfect black marble statue has been recently discovered. It is currently waiting in the Museum of Ooh for its long-awaited premiere. So as you can tell, this is not the same run as last time. That's because I immediately screwed up last time's um, fucking run immediately after ending the recording. So instead, we're going to do this. Support minus 6% doom one-time use only. Ooh, that's actually really, really powerful. Ew. That's actually really, really powerful. So we're going back into it. If this is your first time watching the world of horror, hi, welcome to a world of eldritch horror where we're going to find horrific abominations to uh, probably screw us over. Ooh, an empty bottle, noise. Get some money, honey. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Casual shirt, teen witch, WZ86. We're gonna keep transfer student for this first one. Uh, let's get some experience. Anything horrible on the TV? Local police are helpless as more and more victims turn up in the downtown area with their throats slashed. Great. You don't see anything weird. I don't like how it's all hazy and stuff. Why would that happen to me? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I could throw this at people. Can I? Yeah, I could throw this at people. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's look at our mysteries. What do we got? Freaky feature of found footage. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. Rotten report of a rancid ramen. Far out fable of a fear festival or eerie episode of evolving eels. We'll go left to right. Freaky feature of found footage. I don't think I've actually done this one before. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary of their disappearance, a suspicious man has started asking questions claims to be a private eye hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he? What did the students discover there? Ooh, welcome back to the world of horror. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about the local folklore. Maybe you'll find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school's newspaper. Investigate the mansion location twice to complete the quest. We're gonna do prepare, get an extra item. Curier's while in inventory, forgetting spells lowers reason by 1 to 2, increases doom by 1%. Gain a random new spell. Every time we forget a spell, it fucks with our reason, increases doom, but we gain a random one. That's, that's really, that's not actually that great there. <laughs> uh, we're going to do it. You know what? We're going to do it. Fuck our reason. Fuck our doom. 6% doom? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Give me that doom. Give me that doom, boy. Invisibility. Until the end of the current mystery, there is no doom penalty. That's actually really good. We're gonna go ahead and cast that spell. Fuck our reason. Oh my god, parts of us are disappearing into the ether. Interesting. Interesting. Inter interesting. What happens if I forget the spell as a result? Boom. Cauterize. Plus 2%. Plus 2 stamina. Cool. Plus 2%. That'd be a lot better. One time use only. 
Oh, uh, now that we've increased our doom to seven, let's get a weapon. What do we got? Good dexterity. Um, I don't think Ledago is here, so we're gonna go to the hardware store. What up, friendo? Uh, give me, give unto me. No, I don't want a strength weapon. Looks like we got nothing but strength weapons. Instead, we'll grab a flashlight. Why not? Uh, still no weapon. That's fine. That's probably fine. What's our charisma at? Six. Garbage. We're terrible. We stink. We're invisible. We were invisible beforehand, and Senpai never noticed us, and that makes me angry. Thing is, we don't need a weapon. We could just run the fuck away because we're invisible. Because Senpai didn't notice us. Mm, the fifth. Uh, start with the shelves. Perception check. Success plus spell. Minus two reason. Nice. Regeneration. Regain four stamina. So it's basically a slightly worse cauterize. So I can forget this. Lose some. Unearthly suture. Receive one free injury removal. Cool. We're already... We're doing great. We're doing fantastic. All right. Uh, travel to the mansion. We're at 13% doom. We don't need it. The round window. The crooked manor tower is calling you you feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light get lost in the light the blinding light is growing larger and larger to your shock you can't feel the ground under your feet prepare yourself for whatever is coming lost in time and space you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light the temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold you find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland a sudden gust flings you to your knees you inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Strength check for failure. The frozen guard corpses watch you silently as you cut yourself on the razor-sharp edges of the ice. The legends say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It points you in a specific direction. So, I'm frostbit... And, oh my god, broken job. That's so bad. I would be able to use Unearthly Suture otherwise. We're gonna do that. Uh, Broken job. Oh, I can't. I can't at all. That's right. Um, Well, that sucks. Alright. Cool. Great. The only thing that we were good for. We're gonna go in here. Enter Doctor's Office. It'll cost us some doom. Yeah broken jaw treatment um can you treat this it can't be treated oh it can't be treated all right cool we didn't need any money anyway cool excellent this is what i wanted honestly discard and we get some experience back. stable condition what does this do nothing happens all right cool <laughs> we're doing we're having a great start so far to this game we're having a fantastic start to this run you catch a glimpse of an art class one disturbing painting draws your attention your twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Minus two stamina. Nice. The notes mention a village not far from your town. You decide to take a bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What happened here? We're going downtown instead of the village. It's kind of interesting. Something is wrong. You don't see any see anyone on the street, and you could have sworn it was scratched just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Minus one reason. It's fine. Didn't want it. Didn't need it. I don't need reason. Sanity is for the weak. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly friendly. An, an old farmer points you to an old stone. The missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. Now we're investigating the uh, village. How nice. Do you serve the old ones? Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing looking mass figures block your escape. Do you serve the old ones? Sure. We knew it. The prophecies were true. The mask figures relax a bit, taking off their mask. We apologize for this master. Plus 7% doom. Oh, great. Plus 1 to weapons damage. That would really be helpful. Oh, my God. I just got r two random uh, allies. I guess it's fine. Oh, God. The group must be here somewhere. Now, I've got two assholes as my friends. It's probably fine. Drooping tree branches hang over the past, framing it in almost a macabre way. It's almost inspiring get lost in the thoughts why not charisma check failure you get completely lost in your thoughts and fall into a hole that was clumsily covered with branches and leaves who set up this trap and for whom you have a feeling someone is following you i hope not i have these two assholes following me and they suck help the dog always help the dog 
in the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog caught by its hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get closer. Always help the dog. Luck check, success. You free the injured dog. Thankful the animal follows you. Doggo. Higher chance of finding items after combat. Woof. Can I make him woof? He's wagging his tail. Hell yeah, this is the best ally in the game, except for a cat. I like cats. Oh, look at him though. Never mind, he's great. I love him. You have a feeling that you're being watched. When you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Send Park Ranger. I'm sure this will be fine. Park Ranger tells you to hide as she raises her rifle and goes to confront the person. After a while, you peek out from behind a tree. The only thing left is a rifle on the ground. Both Ryoko and the Ranger are missing. What? Both of them? Wait. No, 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 no. Well... Got a hunting rifle. Do I got a gun? I got myself a gun. That's all I need. I don't need him anyway. I got myself a rifle. Now I'm just show these guys how we do it down in Tennessee. What if I just kept talking with the rest of the run like this? You were planning out your next steps. Got you thinking about everything needs to be done. And then everything that could happen. And every awful thing that's already happening. Now all you can think about is just how scary and horrible things are. Of course, through it, don't be a shut up. You really are pathetic. Great. You wipe your eyes and just try to keep going, but no matter how hard you try. I right, am sorry. You can't get these thoughts out of your head. Minus one reason. I don't need reason. All the past look the same. Are you lost? I have a feeling I'm going to die a horrible death. Oh, well, <laughs> speaking of a horrible death, walking through a tree nursery, you suddenly stop. Something feels off. Is it too early for the leaves to change their color? Bum, bum, bum. Bark lady. Made from bark. Now, uh, this chick is going to beat our brains in. And as much as I would love to get some lore. Mmm, delicious lore. Uh, there's no point. We're going to run. And I can't get doomed because of my magics. Awesome. Cool. Sounds great. I have a rifle, but I don't have any bullets. So it wouldn't be great. I'm already at 32% doom, and I'm not even done with the first one. Great. Uh, the rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Take cassettes and run. Get the fuck out of here. Not being able to deal with it, you decide to grab the tapes and run. You wander aimlessly through the woods for a few hours until you are found by a search party. You lead them to the house, but the door to the basement is missing. The case remains open. Freaky Fisher of found footage. Ending C. The forest is restless. 30 experience, 15 experience. Minus doom, a bunch of other good stuff. Dangerous bands of riders are gathering around the downtown area. The police are hopeless. That's actually pretty dangerous for us, but we're gonna get a key. Excellent, we're doing fantastic. Let's look here. Can't see anything. Ugh, I'm sniffing. I'm sorry, I'm sniffling. Ugh. Ugh, we're gonna go ahead and cast a spell. Why not? Get some stamina back, sweet. Uh, get some reason back, for the love of God. Thank you. All right, watch TV now. You don't have any VHS cassettes. What do you mean we don't have any VHS cassettes? Yeah, we do. Look at these. Forest tapes. Seemingly broken, but you can find a way to repair them. Hmm. Who could help me with that? That's a good question. Someone could help me with that, but hell if I know who. Take a peep. Oh, hey, buddy. That's Frank G. Don't worry about it. He uh, pours my drinks and demonologist. We're going to change to the next outfit. Casual shirt. Nice. We're doing great. We're doing fantastic. We're actually not doing as bad as I thought we would. Things are just not necessarily as good. I'm gonna sell this bad boy. And we're gonna start a new mystery. What is it? Vicious versus Rotten Report. Let's do <laughs> far out, man. Let's do eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Noise. We got a new ally, Kana. Receive minus one damage from attacks during combat encounters. Very helpful. <laughs> While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex. Hey, no. That weird dude is back, you know. The one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Hey, why did you just fucking yoink my soda? B -b 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 Aren't you curious? What weird fish do you bring this time? 
I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He would surely recognize me if I tried to do it myself. Please? Sure, why not? Whatever. Hardware store, please have something I can actually use. Stop giving me strength weapons, you douche. Ugh. Um... Bring a can of acid. Hell yeah. Who just has a can of acid? That's a good point, actually. Who the fuck just has cans of acid around? Whatever. Uh, investigate the seaside. Sure. <laughs> We're doing great. 33% doom. Not even to our second... Done with our second mystery yet? Fine. Great. Uh, I have no money. You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. Of six charisma, let's do this. Failure makes everyone nervous and you're thrown out. What, did they beat the shit out of me? What is this? All right, doing good. Oh, at least I got my doggo. That's all that matters. No park ranger though, he is dead. Sun check, success. Sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. Noise. Oh, but I, uh, I uh, finally just get to lose some reason. That's cool, didn't want it anyway. Reason is for the weak. <coughs> Ow. That pair has been following you since morning. You finally managed to lose them, but can't shake the feeling that it'll only get worse. Once again, did I get the shit kicked out of me or something? Plus two additional spell slots, plus one perception. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. That's not actually that bad. Let's do art knowledge, get our perception up to nine. Actually, we can get our perception all the way up to ten if we feel like. Let's do that. Boom! Perception level ten. If only we had a perception weapon. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? What the fuck kind of, what kind of delinquent are you? You're just leading me on this quest to harass some poor nerd. Must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. So what's the point of breaking in? Uh-oh. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seems empty at first when, until you switch the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in the pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table, mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin. Blech. You step over the dead body and come closer, and then the voices start. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Forgotten specimen, minus one reason. Uh, I wonder, can I actually do anything interesting to this thing? It seems to be a horrible abomination of nature, so I'm a bat. Oh God, no, I'm not. Uh, prepare. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, no, don't put it in my butt. Oh my god, I actually hit. <laughs> ah, damn it, I can't. I mean, I can maybe hit. There, we'll try it. Nope, missed. Ooh, now I can insta-kill it. Bada bing, bada boom. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I got a nice lump of flesh. Plus five stamina adds new status. Slimy and smelly, what is it? It's pulsating slowly in your hand. Eat it. Eat it. Consume. Bloated. Something is moving inside your stomach. I feel sick. Great. Cool. Sounds fine. Seems good to me. Seems seems good to me. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You do find a few jars all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Candy decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy critter? Dog. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Nah, hot bath. Hot bath is so inviting that you spend an extra hour in it. Doom. Great. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? We're having a great time right now, by the way. We're having a fantastic fucking time. Uh, unearthly suture, almost kind of worthless. Uh, you know what? You know what? Forget this spell. Give me another one. Multiply wound, deals damage to an enemy, which increases the lower your stamina is, possibly killing us. Excellent. I like it. It's a good one. I actually really, really like that one. We're gonna bada bing bada boom some poor schmuck. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. Charisma check failure. Great. Intimidating by the unsettling portraits. You're haunted by nightmares. Who needs reason? Ooh, I got some burnt notes. A uh, legend from the Prefecture Ills tells of a vill of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpse into a lake full of eels. 
eels of the prefect lay their legs eggs inside their legs inside human put that shit up Kano was right someone tried to burn some papers they must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes that's so weird your neighbor really wasn't at eels it seems you begin to wonder if spying our neighbor was a good idea to begin with i'm gonna burn some doom right here because honestly i need some reason back really really bad 44 percent doom we're probably doing fine doing fine doing good is doing well and we're doing fan fucking fantastic oh great that's why i wanted to rest find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom inside is cash and a note from someone who has been washing you they wish you washing you <laughs> whoa that's a very different type of <laughs> that's a very different type of letter watching you they wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom plus two funds but minus one reason great there must be something more we can learn i'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning i wonder what he's hiding in there you shrug non-committally you just wish you could throw this damn char into the into the trash Woof. great something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea it's not moving but you swear it's watching you think about how stupid it is of kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment you go to sleep spend an entire day waiting for kana where the hell is she she with me still nope what the fuck loser <laughs> investigate school oh as you turn the corner into the corridor you're met with the gruesome sight of a student's ghost the girl is just standing there pointing a bloody finger at one of the lockers she's got to be trying to show you a clue right yeah sure trust the spear i've never seen this one luck check failure great as you open the locker the spirit shoves you in it's full of knives by the time you pull yourself off of the blade she's gone as you recover you sit and wonder why these ghosts would be so cruel all you want to do is help you hope that ghosts can find some peace that's fine i had a lot of uh, stamina still kana has been missing since yesterday you decide to check out the uh, neighbor's apartment yourself you casually enter your neighbor's kitchen you're shocked to see countless jars filled with eels i could just fucking yeet myself out of here where the hell is kind of bedroom i found the neighbor but when his eye burst i slipped on the blood and lost consciousness i'm afraid there's something in my own eye now too oh my god we could punch her, her eye but that would cost us three reasons you know what i've done all of these endings and we're gonna take her to the hospital you rush to the hospital with kana getting a lot of attention from horrified people your friend is imme taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area when you wake up it's already night trying to ask about your friend you are met with weird reactions as if she never existed you rush to the operating theater yourself but are stopped by armed policemen whatever happened the doctors must have been too late to help you're still processing the events of the previous night corpse eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes sitting before your apartment building you watch the police officers emptying out your neighbor's place you wonder if you will ever hear from your friend again eerie episode of evolving eels ending b Obviously, things didn't go well. The air feels heavy, make it hard to breathe. Great, your rest action is less effective. That's cool. I didn't want it anyway. Take Zeki. Now, last time I finished my run after the second, um, after the second mystery, but we're gonna keep going this time, uh, so I don't fuck it up. <laughs> Basically. Oh, man. Take a peep. Up, oh, Frankie G take. Checking out our butt. That's fine. We do have a nice butt. Let's do vicious verses of a violent vigil. <laughs> You've received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. <laughs> There's an address and a list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea to say, considering all the evil you've experienced and seen. Oh, yeah, I've just seen some uh, dedicated uh, cancerous super buttholes, so, you know, all is fine. Eldritch Abominations, HP Lovecraft popping out of some dude's uh, sweat gland, being like, hey, what's up? I was extremely racist, and you're like, no! Anyway, following the directions from the letter... You slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols on the stone, you take a step closer. Study the symbols. We got 
knowledge. You recognize some of the symbols from a stone tablet you saw at the museum. What's the connection? Awesome. It takes some... It, bleh, it takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guess? You should ask them what's going on. Muscular man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar going across his cheek. Old man's body is in the master bedroom. Go there if you want. Sure. Explore the mansion. Sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you screams in pain as he is engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim. You spot a hooded woman starts standing in the distance. When she sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of the supernatural attack. Dexterity check, failure, of course. The hooded woman disappears behind a corner, and when you get there, she's gone, already mixed in with the crowd. They failed to stop you today, but you're sure they'll try again and again. Plus 2% doom. We're actually starting to do okay on doom. It's finally. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand uncle to just lie here. What was the correct order? Bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. We'll go to the dilapidated quarter. Ooh, we got a person. Hello, a pair is standing next to the window. The man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with her unnaturally bulgy eyes. You can get this with a letter. Here, take mine. Vigil pamphlet. Start of the vigil. All right, so we have to follow these correctly. We're going to go ahead and put this bad boy up because we can't do anything with it right now. Um, 9 p.m. Start of the vigil. 10 p.m. Pray over the body. It is currently 10 p.m. So we go here. Uh, what's the vigil say? Bow, bow, clap, clap. All right, easy. We wrote down that weird little symbol on his on his little tootsie there. His little fadidi. God, he actually has a humongous set of fadidis. What the fuck? Uh, bow, bow, clap, clap. That was weird. I thought I saw something move. Bow, bow, clap, clap. Cool. Uh, dilapidated corridor. Explore mansion. Cool. Now we get the time going. Uh-oh. In the middle of the room, you see a man tied to the chair. You rush in to help when you remove the, his gag, though. The man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall onto the floor. Your mind flooded with unspeakable images as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. Cult member, plus 2% doom every time he talks. Great, what? What is this? Listen to the rambling? Learn a new spell or gain experience? Sure. Why not? I got some doom. Doom to spare? What? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll be great. Her new spell, if not too flame. I'll bash his brains in a little bit. You know what? What is this? Deal 8% doom. Or deal 8 damage plus 2% doom cost, reason, and stamina. Sure. Boom. Burned him up. After an evil spirit possesses man, his fellow cultists left him here to rethink the situation. <laughs> and now I'm going to beat him down. Don't worry about it. I didn't need all that. Um... I didn't need all that doom. Plus one knowledge while held in the inventory. That's actually really, really nice. We're going to put up Kyrie's bag. I don't think I'm going to want it anymore for now anyway. Uh, 11 p.m. Modest supper. How nice. Got a nice modest supper. Check out the supper. Check, check. Pass. Cool. Long pig steak. Uh, plus two stamina. Sure. Eat that shit. Just consume. Minus one charisma. They look tasty. I'm still bloated. I wonder if something is going to explode out of me and then, I don't know, eat these people. Uh, storage room. Ooh, meat cleaver. What kind of weapon is it? Strength. Fuck. Sell it. Master bedroom. Dilapidated corridor. Explore the mansion. We had a nice supper. Now it's... Yeah, what a nice supper. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old rundown mansion room. It stinks like a spoiled milk and has only two doors. I wonder what you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Uh, search the room. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. A library book. Nice. Ooh, some experience? Yeah, use that shit. I'm at 97% noise. The guests seem strangely uninterested in this vigil. You should explore more and learn what you can. Alright, what does the vigil pamphlet say? 12 a.m. Pray over the body. Clap, 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 clap. Cool. Uh, master bedroom. What? The body, it's missing. What? Telepathy core. Where, where is everybody? Oh, no. Suddenly, the music is back. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre mar masks hanging on the wall. Check out the masks. Awesome, we got a ritual mask. Uh, small chance of ignoring reason lost in combat. That would be really nice. I lose my flashlight for that. 
I'm gonna put it in the storage. Managed to find one of the guests. They're shaking, but otherwise safe. You both decided to get the hell out of this place, but the door is gone. Sotomura nervously scratches his scar. 1 a.m., nothing. So we just explore. We can go to the study or the storage room, but uh, nothing here. All right, cool. Explore! Exploration! Da -da 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 -da. Hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind a wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. We can try to reach and grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room, giggling. Minus two all? Ouch. Can I just stomp on them? I have 22 HP. Ugh. I don't have... I don't have anything for this, really, actually. Um... Oof, this is really, really unfortunate for me. Uh, how much doom will I take if I just run away? A lot, but I might actually just flat out fucking die. What's my brace for impact? Oh, God, it's so bad. I think I have to run. Yeah, I gotta run. Please! You successfully run from Patreon. From, oh, God, 62% doom. Corridors twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You think you can hear the other guests somewhere, but you risk getting yourself lost. We have to go to the study and feed the plant with my own blood. I remembered that from the vigil pamphlet because I'm a smart cook. Uh-oh. Did I do that at the right time? Did I do it at the right time? I did do it at the right time. All right, cool. We're good. Trust me, you don't want to fuck it up. A heat wave hits me and I lose stamina. Cool, great. Fantastic. Love it. Want it. Self-therapy for getting spells for gains extra. That would increase my knowledge to... Ah, 10. Oh, God. None of this is really, really good for me right now. Reason. Hooray! The other guest is now safe with you. The whole the whole building cracks and moves. You're scared of what will come next. 3 a.m. What's next? Um, cover the mirror in the storage room. Kill them! All right. I'll do that. I'll do that easy. Easy peasy, man. That's all you had to say. Go on a murder spree? Shit, you've seen my head chaos uh, playthroughs? Great, more doom. Love it, love it, love it. Uh-oh, as the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Oh my god, we're in another world and it's an eclipse and everything's trying to eat me. What is all this? Ew. The walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. Carve the cursed symbol. The bloated corpse of your uncle slowly floats into the room as the remaining walls collapse. The contract is not over yet. Gross. Kill the other guests. It will deal 15 damage to the horrible old man. He's going to increase my doom. I, this, this is such a doomed playthrough. All right, let's do this. Just, you know what? Cut a bitch. It's fine. You know what? Fuck that guy. Boom, murdered a man. Uh, their attacks may cause additional damage. The old man claiming to be your uncle died in 1838 and 1943. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna die, clown. Uh, that's a lot of health. I can just sacrifice all the guests, but what's the point of that? We're gonna save... We're gonna rescue everybody. Yeah, we're doing good. Doing good is doing well. 70% doom, <laughs> whatever. Easy peasy. Uh, boom, bash that guy's brains in and then fucking kick his ass. Boom. The contract is void. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the grass. The old mansion nowhere to be seen. Next to you are the bodies of slain guests. Your head spins. Everything feels like a bad dream. Was the man claiming to be your granduncle really trying to cheat death itself? You somehow stopped the ritual, but with your clothes covered in blood, I have a lot of explaining to do. As you walk through the forest, you are trying your best to clean yourself of the blood and forget the nightmares you left behind. One thing is certain, though. You will never open any more letters from any law firms. There's something wrong with the tap water. <laughs> that is so so bad I can't regain health or anything in between missions so this fucking bath is worthless use bottled water there's nothing else we can do they still don't fix the water problem it is black and oily and glistening no way you're gonna wash yourself in that 
Uh, <laughs> uh, go to the next outfit. God, we look amazing. <laughs> yeah. So let's do a recap. Where are we at right now in this run? We are at 71% doom. We have actually pretty good on health and stamina. Or health, stamina, reason, vitality, uh, endurance, adaptability. You know how it is. Um, but we can't rest anymore. And we've got two more um, mysteries to go. So I'm gonna leave this to the next part. If I just rant, like die immediately, then I'll make it like, I'll immediately start another run or something like that. The ghost gray mist envelops the whole town. Great, fantastic, love it, hate it, want it, nothing about it. Bloated, and I'm bloated, so I might just explode into like, I'm like Eldritch Mary, except instead of getting Jesus, we get Cthulhu. So, you know. That's cool. See you all next time.